Hey everyone, I want to give a quick tour. We are 99% done with this job, so I just kind of walk, walk everything over. This is the girls' bedroom. There used to be a window there, we're closing that off because on this side of the house, we're at in a 59 foot long by 39 foot wide garage with an office on top. Obviously, I have to put close that off for fire protection. So this is the first stop. We're still waiting on the vanities. This is the girls' bathroom. It had a real weird layout. It had a, a shower here, a toilet was here, and a weird closet system up front. But this is how we have it set up now. Looks pretty cool. And then there's our bench with the quartzite. This will be a one bowl system and come across with her makeup station set in here. Turn it off as we leave. Full cabinet drawer storage systems. This is the stairwell. The original floor color was much darker along with the rails and we, it was too expensive to redo the rails so we just went black. There's all of our fixtures installed. This is a kid's study area. This was a patch that was done by the previous people, so we decided just to leave it. The customer liked it. There's all of this. This stairwell had actually sunk two and a quarter inches because it was framed incorrectly, so we've jacked everything up, sealed up all these ceilings. This was all gapped up. It just didn't look good. This is a mirror image. This is the boys. Same thing, had a window there, so we got rid of that, and we put can lights throughout cedar closets and we come in here this was also really strangely laid out we did the best we could with this one this is a, sto a storage closet the commode and then he has a nice large shower and then we have the vanity system the mirror everything except for putting in our light bulbs We've got clean people coming on Tuesday, so we'll finish all this stuff Monday morning. Again, kids' study area. This room was in a, a little unusual. This wall simply had platforms with little bitty, like, it looked like barracks or, or, or farm bunks. It just didn't look good. So this will be the kids' entertainment area, big screen. They, this is all open. What you see here, this is storage on each side that wraps all the way behind, so there's plenty of storage. A Murphy bed will go here for guests so that they can flip down. The floors, of course, as you can see, has all been redone. This bathroom, I didn't change a lot of the layout. They just had it a little strange so you so we just able to get more shower and space in here of course another vanity we're waiting on everything needs to be cleaned up so pardon the mess there's our niche and then i do the course out on the niche it just uh, helps it helps prevent leaks we have this here and then this tub was way pushed out into the room so what i did is i we put the pocket in and push the faucet into the pocket and we lit that up. So now it's nice, comfortable, and works correctly. And we'll pause it and then we'll go downstairs. Okay, here we're starting in the guest bedroom. This was mostly here, except for there's a 13 degree temperature in one end of the house to the other. So we redid the air systems and we put an air return in here and it solved the problems. This bathroom was gargantuan and it was laid out very strangely. This is the guest bath. The customer has put in as much shower as we could, which is right here. And then they also wanted a sauna, which they have. And of course, we're finishing the installs on the lights. Everything else is installed. Um, this is your mirrors. And this is the vanity system. So this will be... Monday afternoon, this will be complete and ready for them to use. This was an existing system on the other side of the house. And this whole wall had, the door was here, windows were here. Of course, this again, this is where the garage goes, so we had to close it all off. So I moved the storage system here. 
this will be the new mud room. So look, that will actually be part of the garage. So they'll come in here and this is where they'll stack all of their, their backpacks and boots and raincoats and things of that nature. Um, and then in here, uh, we had to lift this side. We had to lift this side. The same reason it had sunk. So we lifted all this and we repaired all the walls, got it all back in shape. And then we painted everything throughout. Everything was different colors. This is the existing fireplace system. This is the existing entertainment system. We spruced everything up. All new fixtures, can lights. We took the cabinets down, redid the backsplash, got everything all set up. Here's our countertops. We're gonna put our handles on Monday morning once all the paint dries. This is urethane, so we gotta let it set for a few days. This was a full bath that had no purpose. They was never gonna use the full bath. And then here, we just turned it into a half bath, like this. And then where the shower was, I took that away. And this is the wet bar. Ice machine goes here. Obviously, you see this section. And then we're going to put a set of lights up into that pocket so the lights shine down and probably do um, some floating shelves. This is the wine storage area. They have two large cases come from California store here. And then we have this here. This wall was a wall with a just a set of doors here just opened up to raw floor. So what we did is we turned this into the warm and drawer station and where she'll store all of our pots and pans, cookie sheets, air fryers, anything she wants to store, she can store in that pocket. This is the pantry. It's, we've got all of our stuff stored in there that has got to be put together for the move in. This opening was here and there was this door. We actually cut the wall out and started to install the door because they only had the door here. And then we are building a screened in porch. Of course, we closed all this off. It's all complete. We're waiting on the screens to show up. We do screen panels. And this wasn't, this wall wasn't here, so we salvaged every door we could on the property. So this is the doors that now leads to the laundry room. And we're finishing hookups on these. Plenty of room in here. Triple sink, little storage areas. All set up and ready to go. Then we come this way, big house. And you come this way. Lots of calls coming through. I hope they don't show up on the video. This is a bookcase system. And you open it up. And this is just extra storage. It was, it was a room that was not used. And so I talked with the client. So we decided to do that. Then this is a pocket door. We're going to remodel this bathroom in actually a year from now. So this is just set up as a temporary thing. They wanted to wait. This is the master bedroom. This had walls everywhere and it just, it just wasn't laid out good. So we tore this all apart and totally redid it. Fireplace will go right here. Um, this is the reading area. And then of course you walk into the full custom shelves that they're painting right now. And we'll have this up and going, hopefully very quickly. Just a quick look around. These will be granite tops, of course, here. And then we have a, a seating station here, storage underneath so they can kick their purses or luggage or whatever under there. A little closet here, and then more storage here. So I think we have plenty of storage for the closets. And I think that completes the tour. We'll see you later.